Oh, we're going to do the Shine propaganda? Dude, this was awesome. Shine <laughs> is like a, the, a big kind of it's Chinese. The, it's fashion. the Chinese Forever 21. They just make lots and lots of clothes. For yeah, them. they it's make... Like, it's it's fast fashion. Okay. It's really bad for the environment. And it's like made in, obviously, horrifying workplace yeah. conditions. And like most other brands are also, in a, a, you know, developed under similar circumstances. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like, you know, the distinction that it's like Chinese doesn't make it any uh, worse or anything like that. But... But is this the first video? I need to see it. Day three. Oh, this is the OG video, yeah. So Sheen literally went and, and hired a bunch of influencers, like Sheen influencers, to come to China and visit their facilities and talk about how like ethical the process of labor is in their facilities. We just pulled up. My mouth, I'm still picking it up off the ground. It's so big. Today we are at the Shein warehouse like where satire. the products come directly from this facility to your home. The most fascinating thing is that I've seen the exact process of Shein clothing. I've seen how it's designed, I've seen how it's made, I've, now I'm going to see how it's packaged and shipped off. And I feel like that's such a unique... It's just not Marvin. suspicious at all that the factory is so empty. It's so empty. So it explain. feels not strange at all that there's nobody there on this wonderful day where they're like pushing a tremendous amount of product like a metric ton of product all the time. Imagine being a sweatshop worker though and then having an, you get a day an off. annoying influencer come in though and like film you as you're working. It'd be so fucking annoying. That's, that's well, what we did for our, for our well, there, no. well, listen, ultimately it's not bad because you get to you, you get to take the day off. This is day one. Oh, 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 this is it. This is it. This is it. This is Whoa. the this is the first video. It's so it's good. Amazing airport. Just not seen an influencer out. do a brand trip to the Sheen yeah, factories. Like I mean, China is fucking goaded though. Like I do want to go visit and oh, I do so think good. it's awesome. I want to go to like speed rail stations. Are yeah. The I want to go to like all the tier one cities. Like I'm, I'm definitely a fan of all that shit. You know what I mean? But like, this is ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. China trip has been one of the most life changing trips of my life. Getting life to see the whole trip. process of Shein clothing from beginning to end with my own two eyes was so important for me. Kicking off the trip by heading to the factory of the leading manufacturer for Shein was the perfect way to start. I was really excited and impressed to see the work. It's like a conditions. really bad YouTube battery. Yeah. She's facility going like word for word the Chinese translation. It's over 600,000 square oh, well, feet. There's so much technology. Her. And Shein is just such a developed and complex company and it was so beautiful to see firsthand. I was able to interview a woman that worked in the fabric cutting department and you guys know me. She's an investigative journalist so I asked her all of our questions and she answered them honestly and authentically. Yeah, they did investigative of journalism <laughs> yeah we investigated it and we saw that it was the most ethical yep. like better crazy. better than american factories like by a wide margin well, she highlights there's a woman working in the factory as if that's like a progressive thing it's like i think the majority of sweatshops are filled with women yeah for, for a very bad reason yeah. yeah no no that's progressive that's dude progressive. Yeah. wow typical well. typical doesn't want to see women shine <laughs> okay them shine. that's fucked up she was very surprised at all the rumors that have been spread in the U.S. She told me about her family, her lifestyle, her commute, her hours. Her last stop was to the Shein are, warehouse. No this place was massive. It's about 84 acres and almost fully run by technology and automation. I was really impressed by the extensive checklist that each item had to go through before it shipped off. I think my biggest takeaway from this trip is to be an independent thinker. They made them work on it too because, you know, none of, none of the factory workers are there on this day for some reason. I don't know what that was about. Why would you accept this as a sponsorship? Or you really get some money. Dude, would you go to a... <laughs> Yeah, apparently they to China? Apparent, for, Yeah, first of all, Sick. I would do it I want a fucking free trip to China All expenses <laughs> covered, are you kidding me? And also like, yeah, no, it's great Get the facts and see it with your own two eyes There's a narrative fed to us in the US And I'm one that always likes to be open-minded And seek the truth So I'm grateful for that about myself And I hope the she same for you guys the Matrix she did there's a narrative apparently she literally fucking wrote in the captions that it's racist to what it's cynophobic to question uh, sheen's workplace conditions <laughs> that's awesome that's great though that's china getting america their own game yeah yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Have you Talk shit. Racist. I mean, they've been doing that for a very long time. That's like, I was on her responses here. Oh, let's see. Why did she think she was not going to get her ass eaten? Bro, okay. This is like the, I have a face mask on. This is like the dark, crazy side of TikTok. And I'm just going to be honest with you, I'm not the fucking one. So here's the deal, okay? One, stop telling me to kill myself. I was suicidal for many years being a fat woman. I'll never kill myself. I'm here to stay, okay? Second, I know exactly who the fuck I am. I know exactly okay. what I'm doing. Third, could never, will never be a sellout ever in life i was not paid for any trip or to say anything i was taken on a trip 
once in a lifetime chance you would have done the exact same thing i have so much fair i would have i would have yeah. i'd be shilling sheen dude i'd be like dude these factory no one is here and that's normal <laughs> we paid money to go to a chinese sweatshop yeah and we yeah. had to sneak in horrible wait really they wouldn't let you in no, we no did. they actually did let us in we just walked past and they had the, the shutter door was open so we how walked. bad did it look this one was pretty fucked this one was fucked they were kind of kids with their mums, but the kids were playing mobile games. But, then but that's go good that you can bring missions. you can bring your child. You to but work, they let yeah. us have a go. We didn't even speak Chinese, and we were kind of like just indicating, "Can we go on this sewing machine?" And then we went on it, started fucking around, that's and everyone was laughing at us. That's for our next doco. Sweatshop workers were dunking on you. More awareness of what's going on behind the scenes than any of you ever could, because you don't see what's going on. Ninety percent of what's in your closet is made in horrible conditions, so you have no I mean, right to say anything. Second. I've seen stuff with my own two eyes. If you think it's propaganda, that's cool. Again, you've never been to China and you've never seen what's going on. Third, this is literally our haircut fifth, video. Seven yeah. point. Okay, there is so much xenophobia in. Yeah, but you didn't go to like, like you didn't go to North Korea and you were like, actually, they're eating fucking wagyu steak every <laughs> yeah. meal. Actually, North Korea is the best. Country yeah, the world, yeah. You didn't, you didn't turn around and you were like, guys, uh, North Korean workplace safety conditions are so <laughs> mint. They got OSHA two out here. They got okay? women working here. Yeah. yeah, and children. Everyone. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, <laughs> so they're, they're they're learning at such an early age the importance <laughs> of the value of a dollar. It's ridiculous. You know, there's a difference between like being like, here's all the propaganda, and here's the extent of which it's not real. And obviously, for a lot of people, whenever I talk about Korea, whenever I talk about North Korea, people go, "Oh, dude, it means you're defending yeah, like yeah. the North Korean government." It's like, no, I'm not. But like, they're not fucking eating rats, which then the rats eat the children, and then they get fatty, and then they eat the rats again. Like that's fucking. Stupid. The circle of Korean life. Yeah. Is that an awesome one where, like, at one point in the year, all the plants become poisonous? Yeah, that was just a That's like, that's not even an authoritarian that? thing. It's just like a magical. Yeah. Plant. yeah that was amazing. Yeah. North Korea is a magical place, dude. Racism with everything you guys are saying. And that's what I really learned in China. We are fed propaganda. We are fed a whole line, a whole narrative in the US about Chinese people and Chinese culture. I mean, okay, but that part is real. But, yeah. like, th there's a difference between, like, combating xenophobia or whatever and, like, defending shines like very clear attempts at, at uh, doing mm. advertising. What the fuck? All right, what else did she say? She popped off on that one. Perspective to be able to see as not only a creator, but a consumer of Shein. Juche 101. So dumb. Why are these empty? Where yeah. are the people? What you think there's people on that conveyor belt? <laughs> no, <laughs> like no. Out. Where are the people that are like handling and monitoring the yeah. conveyor belts? Yeah, that's like, wild. and also why are the conveyor belts empty and yeah. running? It's yeah. like you didn't question it like at all. This was not surprising to you. Like these factories are fucking filled to the brim. Do you know the amount of inventory that they're fulfilling? Yeah. Like this is a massively successful multi-billion dollar company. It's a it's just a factory for tours. Yeah, I assume they just like basically built this to be like, look, it's, it's super automated and that is a roller coaster. For yeah. the influencers. They collect and okay. put everything together and then uh, bring in. What is she doing a wow face? Them up into it's a big batches. Okay. Yeah, at that packing. So like she looks very serious when she's saying okay though like mm. we know that for a long time shine represents ultra new lows for fast fashion but the sheer quantity of new garments is pushing makes other fast giants pale in comparison this is from the business Whoa. of fashion dude that is insane a number of new styles added in the u.s <laughs> 314,877 okay that you can't even do that with like humans like this has got to be like ai right yeah. they have to have like some kind of what is a style ai generated okay. Style. What is a style. How do you know what a new style is? It's a style, just a combination of colors and patterns. That's a new style. I could make a lot of those really quickly. She's business model is so much faster and more nimble than many of its closest peers that it could even be classified on a level of its own, writes journalist. Drew investigated good on use data on Shine and all known evidence about how the brand operates. Real-time fashion refers to a retail model that almost acts as a mirror to the current social media trends. It takes Zara about two weeks to go from design to delivery. Sheen has reduced go-to market process for new clothes to only a few days. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. That's all fire. Dude, they do, merch, they do everything sure, better yeah. in China. Yeah. That's what this is. These guys are just jealous that these guys have a three-day turnaround for new shirts. Let's make merch right now yeah. in China.
or it's literally currently being made by the AI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, before we... It's like infinity. You know what I mean? It, there's infinite amount of styles. It's already... If you've thought it, it's been done already. <laughs> China has already came up with it. What is this? Uh, climate tech reporter at TechCrunch saying Sheen puts new products online instantly and then blasts it all over social media. And because it's just online, they're also able to collect feedback very quickly. Why does all this matter? Obviously, it's easy to highlight what's wrong with Sheen's exploitative business model. But what we talk less about is how their popularity online means this new breed of fast fashion is taking the vase waste and climate crises to new lows mm -hmm. yeah they're just fucking really good at logistics and y'all are just jelly i think this influencer's right for the order Everyone, okay. at least with these influencers, they're not using them. Sometimes I've seen it when China places, pays people to do like, something. There's like, they say the most insane lines, like chi obvious Chinese, like, like verbatim translated, where it, it just doesn't sound grammatically correct at all. I, and they are, some of them are so You're talking about the ads talking. you do when I do the thing. I'm talking about my sponsorships I do, yeah. <laughs> But also I've seen it with other YouTubers that have gone to China, but they're at least talking These about that normally. Sound like less genuine. human run and more technology and automation like put into the actual process. So I'm really excited to see what that looks like. Automation is kicking Chinese factory workers out of jobs. What are they Fucked gonna up. do? Fucked up. Okay, so uh, eat rocks, duh. <laughs> with all their free time. Yeah. I just put this in here face up. Yeah. Like, see, even we can do it. And we're fucking influencers. I'm messing up. <laughs> I like the experience because it was real. You know, it wasn't just like we got pictures or videos of these warehouses or facilities. We were actually there. There were so many things answered for me along this journey. And so I can't wait to just continue to grow my knowledge and then ask what else needs to be asked. Now I can go it's home. Fire feeling reassured, feeling confident in my partnership with Shein, food, working for Shein, and yeah, being yeah, a consumer rocks. of Shein, oh, and I feel comfortable spreading that message Chipotle? to my community and yeah, to my family Chipotle, and friends. Whatever. I love how Kai has just like missed the entire bed to sleep on the tiny bit of wood there is next to it. <laughs> no, she literally doesn't. She does not uh, like the, she she likes the floor because it's like uh, cooler? cooler. Yeah. yeah. What, she did another one. What's up you guys? Today we're gonna talk about- What's Shein. up? All the tea, debunking some rumors and everything you guys wanted to know from my brand trip. So like I told you before, Shein is the first brand to ever take me on a brand trip. Damn, Aww. this is the first time she ever did a trip and it was for Sheen. God damn, that's like advanced. Yeah. They should have they should have gotten someone who's already like done PR for, yeah, yeah. I don't know, like a racist corporation or something. <laughs> like they- We'll do it. Yeah. Oh, I've defended blue. racist corporations before. Yeah, this Many is what times. I mean. Come like on. they they should have gone to the experts. This way you could have more than three fucking shirts. That would Think be so about nice. That. We could have 300,000 shirts. How many shirts? designs could I get? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like I talked about in a bunch of my TikToks, I asked all the right questions and I got invited to this you dinner that the heads of Shein were at and I got so much good information and I want to share it with you guys so that we can be on the same page. And that way you guys understand what made me work with Shein and why I feel confident in doing so. So I went to this amazing event, I heard from the higher ups and I took a bunch of notes. So I'm gonna be looking behind me because I wanna make sure I get everything right. But honestly, to get all this info, go to my YouTube video. I'm doing a long version of this so I can tell you all the tea. So I'm just now making this video because I was in this is a great, like, YouTube with Talk launch. Machine about how right. I can bring information from this brand to the a consumer mm. and how I can help them with debunking a lot of these rumors. Basically a breakdown of the company and how they work. They branch out to manufacturers to create their clothing outside of Shein. million tons of now, these outside. manufacturers have to apply Doesn't by a code of conduct that, that aligns with the international That's probably labor probably like, laws. So it's not even Shein's laws, but it's white, the international labor volume. laws. So it's within this code of conduct, they That's cannot saying, have improper labor oh, yeah, yeah, They lot, have like, to have responsible manufacturing, civic rights, and worker safety at all times. If they don't, they get cut off immediately, and they can no longer manufacture for Shein. You got to go. Shein conducts thousands of audits, Hell so yeah. basically they are constantly <laughs> auditing these manufacturers to make sure that they are up to code with all of the code of I mean, she's very articulate like she's really just like yeah that's why that's, yeah she's that's doing great i don't think shan's gonna be that different to other well i think it's just makers. scale it's no just they're, they're not big. but also if you were to fucking go and like look at nike sweatshops and be like no actually it's great everyone yeah. would be like what are you talking yeah, about yeah. like i can see the child behind <laughs> the fucking Pillar. Like, what, what do you Why mean? Why are the doors so small in this factory? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These stations are created for children. That's why. Like, yes, if you were to say, like, all 
factory uh, conditions and like rely on uh, the exploitation of the third world or whatever, then that's fine. It's no different in many other factories. That's fine. That's just mm. normal. That's real. But like you're going a step beyond that and saying like, no, it's actually that's sick. Yeah. It's <laughs> fucking sick. Well, let me get stabilized footage of this. Yeah. Whoa. Like, oh man, it's, it's it doing great. Meanwhile, it's like coming to the hospital broadcast at the top of the hour and not getting a three minute ad break. You know what I mean? You see this from Sheen. What? What is this? Someone's touching their willy. Oh, it's a dead guy. No, it's a dead guy the who's handcuffed outline. and they're putting a chalk outline around. Well, I would again, buy that. There's probably be, another million of like To be fair, to be fair, this. you know, 3,800 designs. You yeah. know, you're going to arrive at that yeah. sometimes. Okay, this is awesome. I like this. Yeah, this was the Sheen Ferguson apo- online store Sheen apologize for selling a phone case to be a handcuffed black person outline in chalk. <laughs> The retailer has been criticized in the past for selling a swastika pendant and a Muslim prayer mat as de- decorative rugs. They stole that design too. Wait, from who? From real life America? Shouldn't, shouldn't that guy be in trouble? We've removed the item out of respect for our community and want to clarify it. We never got the artist's permission to use the art, which was not meant for... Wait, <laughs> they stole that? <laughs> not Just better. digging yourself even deeper. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't us. We actually stole that. Yeah, this, yeah. This, this horrifying artwork that we presented as ours was not ours, actually. It was stolen. I love that. That makes it better. That makes yeah. it better. That's more ethical. Don't worry, it's not art. It's actually a photo of a person we killed. Yeah. <laughs> I believe last year they said they did around 2,800 audits alone. So some other things I gathered was Sheehan's goal is to make low cost. So it's like one audit per 10,000 design. Fashion, which I think is so important. Oh, they let everybody partake in the fashion design process. Ooh. Even yeah. racist. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. For not only affordability, but size inclusivity. They go up to a 4X, which a lot of fast fashion brands don't. Here's a here's a parody of the Sheen ad, by the way. I'm a Triangle Shirtwaist ambassador here in New York, getting a closer look behind the scenes at the Triangle Shirtwaist factory here in Greenwich Village. <laughs> More girl bossing, like yeah. again. I loved getting to learn about. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not want women in the workplace? Yeah, it's kind of fucked each up. Each step of the manufacturing process, as well as actually seeing the working conditions for myself. <laughs> like many others, I've heard a lot of misinformation, so I enjoyed seeing it firsthand. Hand. There are lots of stairs and exits in case of emergency, and they use a lot of technology, which puts less work on the workers. I've also <laughs> loved getting to know all the people here on the Triangle Shirtwaist team. I'm so thankful for Triangle Shirtwaist and all the opportunities it's given me and others. Mwah. Mwah. That was great. Beautiful. Like that. We should go to China. Go to a Chinese 